Recently, I found a new tech for Belveth that I've never seen anyone pull off before. In this video, I'm going to tell you about how I found it, what it is, how to do it, and why I would even try to look for something like this in the first place, because this tech looks pretty weird in a vacuum. To start off, this tech involves flashing to extend an ability's hitbox. This is nothing new to anyone as many champions commonly use flash extensions in their kits. Common uses for this are Tryndamere E, Camille E, and Gragas E. But this tech is going to involve Belveth's Q. But if this tech was just about flash extending Belveth's Q, I wouldn't be making this video, because countless Belveth players have done this, as it's not very difficult to pull off and very useful in teamfights to get on top of priority targets. Now I'm going to show you the tech in action, and then I'm going to explain what's actually going on here and how you can pull it off for yourself. Oh, I did it! First try! Holy crap! All right, I don't know how many of you guys caught that, but this was a flash extension on my backwards Q. So to break down the play into simple inputs, I pressed my Q button in the backwards direction, which was the only dash I had remaining, and then I flashed directly on top of Yone. As soon as I pressed my Q button, this extended the hitbox and the damage of my Q so that I could actually hit him with it, whereas I wouldn't have been able to hit him with it otherwise if I didn't flash. Now you might be wondering, why don't you just flash at the Yone and then Q backwards? Isn't that a little bit easier to pull off? And while it is true that mechanically for yourself, it is easier to pull that off, when you flash first, you give them the opportunity to flash your ability. Doing this play where you flash during your Q gives them zero counterplay, and they won't even be expecting it because it'll just look like you're queuing away from them and disengaging from the fight. So why did I think to come up with this in the first place, and why hasn't anyone seen this before? Well, to start off with, I came up with this because I play a lot of mid lane Belveth, and when you're playing mid lane Belveth, you have a lot of situations where jungle Belveth wouldn't be, especially with the level 1 fights, because when you're playing jungle, your level one fight is against the red buff, and it's not exactly uh, a difficult fight for you. But when you're playing mid lane Belveth, you're fighting a laner, and often the fight starts level one. And Belveth's kit oftentimes puts you in a situation where you want to all in or disengage entirely. So because of that, I've gotten in a lot of situations where I want to level one all in my laner. And with that, I've gotten in a situation very many times where I've tried to level one all in my laner and gotten them to a very small fraction of their HP and I'm left with a flash and a backwards dash. And before learning this trick, I would think, well, I could try flash flashing and queuing backwards at them, but since I've been climbing higher in the ranks, whenever I've been doing that, they just flash away. And then I'm left with a one HP laner I am now 1 HP because I usually have to flash under tower to do this, and I pretty much got nothing out of it other than a flash for flash, which is an even trade, and Belveth usually wants to snowball when she's in a lane. So, I started thinking about how I could use this backwards dash and this flash more effectively. I thought about flashing with my ability, just like I've done Q flash forwards in the first place, but I honestly didn't even know that you could flash extend an ability before the end of the ability. Let me explain what I mean by that. When you do these combos uh, with stuff like Trindamir E, Camille E, Gragas E, the usual flash extenders, you usually wait until the end of the dash ability to do the flash, because that's how you get the maximum distance in order to land it on a priority target. So that's how I started out, by doing my Q flashes, with Belveth, but I got into the training range and I discovered that you can actually flash extend an ability pretty much at any point. You just have to flash before the ability ends. So I got into the range, uh, checked if it would work with Belveth Q, and it did. 
I was able to reproduce it pretty easily. Um, and as long as you press flash uh, pretty close to right after you use your Q backwards, you should be in range to land it on your opposing laner. Now, obviously, I found this trick uh, because of mid lane Belveth, but I'm sure there would be a situation uh, where a jungle Belveth would just have a backwards dash and a flash left as well. So just think about this next time. Uh, this is just a cool trick that I found. I thought it was pretty interesting, and I've never seen anyone do it before, like I mentioned. If you enjoyed the tech, make sure you leave a like and you subscribe. I do a lot of Belveth mid videos. I've also been doing some coaching recently. The application period for my free coaching for this month is done, but uh, I might be still be doing some free coaching. Join my Discord if you're interested in that. I'll be posting information about that probably in the next week or so. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.